Okay, um, I just got back from the gym, and I know it's it's a little early in the morning for politics, but, uh, you know, they have these widescreen TVs on at the gym, and they were covering the story about Harvard and about how the president of Harvard is still going to be there and what's going on. And uh, I, I, I couldn't help but say to this woman who was working out next to me, uh, you know, this is just, it's beyond horrific. And she said, uh, oh, I really, I don't like to get involved. I don't know what's going on. And this is a woman who works for the district attorney of New York. Um, it's hard for me to believe she doesn't know what's going on. Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she just feels like it's her gym time and she doesn't want to discuss politics. I get that. But she, she also did not, all she had to say was it's terrible. Now I know she's not Jewish, okay? But I couldn't help but say to myself, um, if they just decided to start lynching African Americans in the South again, um, you know, would that not affect me? Of course it would. The the thing that that absolutely blows me away is that if people cannot be humanitarian on an individual level, how does anybody expect there to be peace on a wide scale? And you know, today it might be Jews in Israel. Tomorrow, who the hell knows who it's going to be? Okay, um, and and that's that's the problem. It it really is horrible what's going on. Biden makes the announcement. Israel is losing support from the entire world. Very good, good move, Joe. Um, anyway, that's that's all I have to say. I just I just wish people would look to the human side of themselves and not just, you know, not my problem, doesn't affect me. Um, that's all. Anyway, be good to each other.